Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Toy Migos YouTube channel. This is Chaney180. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Blanca figure. We just got this guy in yesterday. And man, oh man, was I excited. Definitely a cool figure. Did it live up to the hype? I, I think so. I, I mean, that's kind of easy for me. I'm kind of a mark for Street Fighter. Uh, I, I think some people might complain about the color of green here. Um, but what you could see is that it uh, it's fairly accurate to the original game, though. So I do like that. Alrighty, moving on. What he comes with, you don't get much in accessories. So you get this uh, alternate face here, with the screaming face, and then you get two fists. And I know I've heard some people say, well, how come he doesn't come with electricity? Uh, you can buy tam uh, Tamashi electricity effects. You can get the uh, figurized electricity effects. It does come with these neat decals, though. And they're pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to use them, but, you know, for display purposes, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty neat. So you have one here with Chun-Li, and then uh, you get one stand to hold one of them up so you can simply place it next to the figure. Nice decal though, nice little graphics on there. You got like the x-ray vision of the skeleton and whatnot. So, and then all of this uh, crazy electricity through here. Pretty nice all in all, I dig it. So how about let's get into some of this articulation here, yeah? There's a lot of uh, crazy stuff going on and I'm gonna try and go through it the best I can. If I miss something, I apologize in advance. So let's go ahead and go to the head here. There's a, I'll just pop it off and show you guys. So there's this little tiny little peg that comes out that pegs into the head. And when you switch the faces, you do it like that. And then you've got the hair that actually pegs on to there. And then you've got a little ball joint or dumbbell double ball joint in here, which allows you to move that around a little bit. So... It's not too bad, but to switch out, so switch out the faces, you got to, it's kind of tricky. I'm not going to lie. You got to kind of, all right, I think I got it. Yeah, all right, we're good there. And then plugging this in like that. Alrighty. So what it does is it actually allows them to look up fairly far. If you push too far, the hair will pop off. It tends to pop off. Just like that. But you can always just snap it back on. And then he looks down pretty far too. I mean the neck doesn't really go down. But with that little tiny like joint in there that seems to work. And you get side to side fairly well. You actually got a lot of pivot. A lot of movement in there. And then you got these awesome butterfly joints that just come out. They fill up the gap, so there's not a lot of, like, gappage there. So you can get, you know, the arms to come around because he's so muscular. And then the arms go up about that far. They do have a uh, tiny little bicep swivel in there, but you got to work it like that. They go up that far. And then you've got a... Uh, Double hinged elbow here. We got one hinge there and one hinge there. And then it has the spinning feature or the rotating. But it is limited due to the sculpt here on the elbows. As you can see here, I'll show you. It stops there and it stops there. Not too bad though. And then you run into a little bit of a hindrance here on the wrist. Because the sculpt kind of goes out in a... Uh, like a curve almost it's not like a straight cut it's kind of like a, a u-shaped cut and so we got like high parts here and here which kind of prohibit movement a little bit but not too much but you can get there and you know it's basically you can move that ball hinge joint around however you like it doesn't really ruin it too much and then the arms go up that far <clears throat> So the torso here has a top ab crunch and then another joint here. So he can like crunch way down. 
Like, there's no problem here. Like, they show in the promotional shots him balled up in a ball. And you can pretty much emulate that. That's not really too complicated. You can uh, get him in, you know, kind of his, like, spinning little ball pose there. So that's cool. And what's neat, too, is, like, this right here, these little ankle things, they actually, like, cover some of the articulation. So you can get him to stand just like that. And then back, not as far, because we got a lot of this covering up. So, you know, you're going to lose a little bit there. But he can still straighten up fairly well, which isn't too bad. And then you do get pivot there. The crutch is only forward to back, though. But, like I said, you got, you know, a killer ab crunch and you don't have, like, a lot of back uh, gapage back here. The legs are on a ball joint on the hips here, and you do get a thigh swivel in there, and they come out fairly far. And go forward far, and they go back far, and they do have that drop down in there, so it's got a little hinge, and as you can see, it drops up and drops down. And then there's more of the uh, thigh swivel there. And you get double hinge knees, which work nice, and they added a little bit of... Uh, extra there to try and fill in that gap which is nice because he's mostly you know gonna be crouching in a crouching position so you don't want like a big gap there and then we have a uh, really nice uh, articulation down here like i said this ankle kind of covers all of that but you've got a uh, hinge there a swivel that goes up into there and then a uh, nice ankle pivot there real nice ankle pivot and then you have a toe hinge that you could use as well. So overall, um, you know, I, I don't really have too many issues with this. I know I did run into like sometimes if you bring the arm up too quickly, it'll get locked up there. But you just bring it down and then bring it up and around or however it is you want to do. And then sometimes some poses, it can get a little gappy in the shoulders here. But that's not too bad. You know, um, I, I don't really have a problem with it. It works for me. You know, like I said, most of the time he's going to be crunched. I mean, there's not very too many, like, you know, a lot of, like, poses where he's standing upright. But I will do is stand him upright just for the, uh, you know, uh, height measurements here. See, as you can see, there's a little bit of gapage right there. That's what I was talking about. But you can kind of fix that by bringing out the butterfly joints a little bit if you want. And try and have him stand like a gentleman so we can do our size comparisons here. <clears throat> okay, so first off, we'll throw him next to SH Figure Arts Ryu, SH Figure Arts Sakura. And we'll put him next to Akuma. Cami, and there we have that, and then here is Chun Li and Armika. So, as you can see, he's got per, you know fairly decent height here, it's not too bad. And then, last but not least, we have American can right there and then we have uh, this old guy right here the soda toys one now as you can see he's probably bigger or he's definitely bigger but for what kind of issues there was with this figure I think the figure arts kind of you know took it to the next level considering how old this figure is and whatnot so that's pretty cool and then for everyone out there that wants to know here is the storm ryu as you can see he does not scale very well he's pretty small for that and last but not least i like to throw this guy in everything just because he's massive we've got a towering zangief so that about sums it up guys uh if you are a complete street fighter maniac like me and you love street fighter 
this is definitely a buy. I, I would highly recommend it. If not, you know, uh, you may want to, I guess, pass. I don't know. If you love Blanca, definitely pick it up. With that being said, guys, uh, don't forget to click like, leave a comment, click subscribe, and uh, check out all of our awesome other content. Take it easy.